Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what's new in the latest versions of OBIE. So OBIE, the latest version of OBIE is 11G. And this really has a dramatically enhanced user interface. As you can see here, this is really a screenshot of the OBIE homepage. And what you have is sort of a landing point that uh, has all types of reporting available to it. So we have things like analysis and interactive reporting, published reporting, actionable intelligence, performance management, and marketing. These are all modules, if you will, of OBIE and they're all unified in one in one space. Now, the unification of the tools was really available in 10G as well, it, but it was a, a little bit more of a backdoor operation, to be frank. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, navigating between Answers and BI Publisher, uh, you, it felt like you were in different tools, but really the, these tools have come together and they, it looks much more integrated and it's actually much more integrated on the back end as well. So again, to talk a little bit more about the enhanced user interface, there's a lot of new visualizations you can do within OBIE 11G. Uh, what I have at the, the top screenshot here is really just an example of a pivoting view that I've done on some sample data. And you can see here it, the, the formatting of those pivots looks a lot nicer. Uh, we have um, you know, a time hierarchy that you can actually, re, you know, this is the concept of a hierarchy that's in, uh, that's in 11G that is new for 11G where you can drag in an entire hierarchy to um, a query um, and, then dr and then drill into that hierarchy. For instance, total time down to years. I could then drill into uh, from years to months um, and then months to weeks or days if, if that was available in the data set. Huh. Same thing on the left side, on the, on the row set there, you see the Eden Corporation uh, and my, the ability to expand down um, sort of that entity hierarchy. And in terms of new visualizations, there's a lot of new ways to visualize your data in OBI 11G. A lot of different types of graphs, uh, as you can see here. Um, uh, we, you know, there's there's things like funnels, gauges, uh, bubble charts, as well. So these are just the, some of the new uh, new visualizations around the tool. So one thing you might have noticed if you're looking, if you've been looking at the the way that things have been termed so far in 11G, there are some differences in product names. And that can be confusing, but it is something that Oracle, uh, you know, has been known to do from time to time. So it's important to keep up to date on what, you know, the 10G and 11G equivalent products are. So the, the original, you know, OBIE answers is now called analysis. Dashboards is actually now called interactive dashboards in 11G. An, an important one, BI Publisher, is now called Published Reporting. And then finally, Delivers is known as Actionable Intelligence. So that's just something to keep in mind when you see these screens. Really, these are they're, they're the same products, but uh, they're just, they've just been rebranded. So what are some of the other features of OBI 11G that are worth highlighting? Let's go through some of those. So OBI 11G supports new hierarchy formats. Now this is a you know this is something that really manifests itself in the visual look and feel of the tool. Uh, different types of hierarchies are now uh, much more integrated into the tool. Hierarchies that are common in a lot of different types of data sets that we see all the time at clients. Things like ragged hierarchies and skip level hierarchies. So ragged hierarchies are really where uh, you know where different nodes in the hierarchy may uh, expand to different levels of detail. Right, so at the top left you see that all stores and, and then the North SF region uh, drills all the way down to a, you know, a store level, Macy's and Nordstrom's. 
However, the central SF region only drills down to market the market street level. So that's a different level. So that would be a that would be an example of a rag, ragged hierarchy. A skip level hierarchy is another thing that 11G supports, where it's similar to ragged, except that you know you have uh, similar lowest level nodes, but they may not, but what might be missing is an intermediate node. So as you can see in the central SF uh, example on the far right, that drills directly to SFO instead of going to that um, you know that the the, re, the um, level in between. Uh, you know, store and region. So, in previous versions of OBIE, these types of hierarchies were, you know, you you could have them in your data sets, but when you were drilling on them in the tool, uh, it really it, it, it performed a little bit of a funky trick where it added additional columns instead of actually drilling drilling uh, nicely. So that's been that's been fixed in the tool, and that's really been something people have taken to.